How's it going guys? We're here to check out the new skins that come out this week on 8-24-17 and we've got the makeshift rug dirty edition from Krav and it's uh, basically what you would expect. It's a, it's a rug and it is using the textures of cloth and the I guess, well, it's still texture of cloth, but it looks like tarp. So it, it looks like it's basically made from tarp and cloth and in-game. And I think it's a pretty nice looking little rug if you need something to, uh, you know, fix up those floors of yours. And, and remember that these things do damper the sound of your footsteps. So there is a practical use to rugs in-game. So if you don't like the default skin, well, here's something that might fit for you. Next up, we've got the salvaged Bradley door. With the Bradley itself coming into game this week, it is one of those things that uh, just seemed like it made sense. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is that it's a scrap metal door and not armored, because let's be real, if the Bradley takes three rockets, then I would say the armor piece is left over from it should as well. So uh, I think this would have made a little bit more sense as an armored door. But nonetheless, it is a pretty nice looking door and is one I picked up this week because why not? This week we've got a new chest and it is brought to us by Johnny Oldboy and it is a awesome pirate theme. I think it's really well done and this box itself just has lots of nice detail to it. We'll kind of circle around it. And it's just well done. I like the fact that the back and front are different. And it, it's just got a really nice pattern. I like the touch of the octopuses or, yeah, you could call them krakens maybe on the sides. And it, it's just a really nice chest. I picked this one up for sure this week. And Johnny, if you're watching, great job. This week from Brajkula, we've got the new God of Builders hammer. And it's got a very like aztec kind of tribal feel going on with it. It kind of looks like a, a dragon or a beast, and it's just really well done. I like this. It's a neat little hammer, and for all those builders out there, something unique to hold in your hand while you're getting your stuff done. Next up, we've got another crossbow this week from Little Ranger, and it is the Mad Crossbow. And you can see it has a lot of kind of like, I don't know, it's got that medieval look to it again. It, it's got... I don't know, yeah, it's just kind of like a medieval look to it. I, I love how the crossbow also clips directly through your wrist. Like, once you use a crossbow, it is part of you forever. Um, <laughs> but anyways, it's a neat looking crossbow. You're looking for something a little different. It is pretty well done. We'll go ahead and get the first person view because I forgot that last time. Sorry. And uh, yeah, we'll check it out right there. And that is pretty nice looking. I like it. It's colorful. It's unique. Well done. This week we also have a awesome looking pump shotgun brought to us by Fred. It is the fire edition of the Conqueror's shotgun. And this thing's actually really cool. If you look into the detail, there's actually a bunch of different little skulls hidden all over it. It's got bones on the butt of the gun. And if you pull it into your hand, you can actually see the big skull on this side. The top of it has like a very unique look to it actually. and. Uh, it's a little plain once you aim down the sights, but it together is just a nice looking shotgun. And uh, definitely one I picked up this week. Of course, I am partial to shotguns. Also brought to us this week by Little Ranger, we've got the Blood Feud Stone Pickaxe. And it's got these, like, beads around it. And it's just actually really different. At first, it kind of doesn't look that exciting, but the more you look at the details, it's, it's actually really cool looking and uh, definitely neat little stone tools. So if you need something to accompany yourself, you're starting on a fresh wipe today, you know you'll have that stone hatchet for a while. Well, here you go. There's a new skin to keep you company along the way. Also this week brought to us by Stab. I'd have to say one of the best skins I've seen from Stab for a while is the Heroes chest plate. This thing is actually really cool looking. It, it looks like someone took apart like plate armor and put it back together with like bone pieces or something. I, I don't know. It's just it's it's really neat looking and I, I just love the look of it and it's got a pretty sweet mask to go alongside it. And that would be 
the Warface mask, and it too is put together with what looks like old skull pieces and maybe even actual teeth. I, I'm not sure. We've got some like goggles up on the top, kind of, and th this thing is just brutally creepy, and I love it. It fits Rust just perfectly. Then we've got the Last Eclipse Sap. I think this one was probably tossed in for the fact that we just had an eclipse. Otherwise, uh, you know, it's a pretty decent looking skin. It's a fancy looking sap. I know everyone's pretty much getting tired of seeing sap skins, though, to the point where I really am too. Unless there's something really unique, uh, it's just getting a bit old. Uh, we definitely need some new skinnable weapons for sure. There is one thing I didn't expect, and it is the skins with the awesome pinups on them and there's a few of them floating around and bfs here has made the suzy q sar and it actually has been accepted and i really like this this is pretty awesome it's got that old uh, american feel to it and it's just a really awesome skin i picked it up this week just for the sheer fact of who knows if we'll ever get another pinup skin so this is definitely a really neat one good job bfs i hope to see some more stuff in the future i can't can't really uh, I have to say, I, I would love to see an M249 with a pinup skin on it. That just, that seems pretty awesome. Next up, we've got the Notorious Hatchet from Cirque, and we'll go ahead and take a look at it here in the first of persons, and it is a nice fancy little axe. So if you're looking for a new hatchet to go along with you, this hatchet is great and ready to start knocking some wood or breaking some beds for you. That also brings me to realize I forgot to show several of the guns in their first of persons. So we've got the Suzy Q SAR right here and the new P2 skin right here. And it actually has a little bit of uniqueness to it when aimed down the sights, which is actually a really nice thing. I also love that kind of wood grip to it that you couldn't really see unless you're holding it in your hands there. Next up, we've got the Plywood Road Sign Set. Now, this is one I wasn't sure we'd see in Rust because they don't like making things look like they're made out of a different material than they are. But this one was done so well by Escavan that I am happy it got accepted. It basically is plywood kept together with duct tape and then either spray painted or wood burned. I'm not... I think it looks a little bit more like a spray paint kind of stencil deal on it, but it's actually really well done. You'll see the more details we check out the other two pieces. And like I said, you really will see the detail put here. It's done really well. Uh, I think this confirms that it's also like a, it's supposed to look like a stencil spray paint on because there's different colors here. But you've got Fragile, which is uh, definitely very true about pretty much everyone in the game, including myself. We all have our moments, don't we? And, uh, yeah, we got Do Not Stack, Export, uh, you know, the little umbrella symbol. So this is all stuff you would see on crates made out of plywood. So that's actually really cool. You've got the Recycle, Fragile, you know, symbols and all that. Don't Get Wet, Hazardous, uh, Electrical. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. I love it. You know, the arrows, uh, Fragile, keep this way up. And uh, I love the detail. Great job on it. I can't wait to see more skins from this person. And, of course, to finish it off, we've got the Tassets, as they call them. And it's really hard to really see anything because of the sensor. You can thank YouTube for that. But yeah, there's the last piece. So anyways, guys, if you liked any of these skins and bought them, please go ahead and let me know down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you're new and want to see more of these, I put them out every week. So be sure to subscribe. And uh, we will see you next week for those skins then.